Ian D here. Today I want to discuss what is mana burn. If you are a new player, you have heard some of the old players discussing or saying mana burn. What is mana burn? Mana burn is nowadays an obsolete game rule, game concept, where a player would suffer one loss of life for every mana, unutilized mana in his mana pool at the end of the phase. That means that if you want to cast a 4 drop and you tap 5 lands, let's have a little bit of example, let's have him play 5 lands, we have 3 forests and two islands if i want to cast let's take a simple creature if i want to cast this territorial allosaurus it's a four drop if i want to cast this creature and i tap five lands i will put my card in play i will have one remaining mana floating in my mana pool at the end of the phase that mana will give me one damage obviously if i want to play a four drop i will not i will not obviously cast five lands i will cast i will tap four lands and therefore not gaining a one loss in life for the extra mana in my pool this particular rule was removed when Magic 2010 was, the course at 2010 was introduced, it was removed. It was a particular rule that at that time, in the old times, made sense. But with the new power level of Magic the Gathering, the rule really and truly didn't make any more sense. We're talking at the time where we had cards like dark ritual or cards like the tron lens tron lens the erza tower erza mine and erza power plant these particular lens let me make some space this particular lens will give you extra colorless mana if they are the three in play the tower will give you three, the mine will give you two, and the mine will give you two, and the plane the plant will give you also two. If the three cards are in play, together they will give you seven mana. If I want to drop a six colorless creature and I tap the Tron lens, I will have 7 mana in my mana pool, I will drop my 6 drop colorless creature and I will incur 1 damage because of the mana pair. I can give you another example, let's say that this, these are all my lands in play and I want to play this particular card, Unesh, a 6 drop. So I will tap my two lands, my two islands, because I need two islands, and I need another four mana. Let's say we don't have the forest in play. I need another four mana. If I tap these, they will give me the six mana and I will put it in play. But if I tap the Erza Tower, the Erza Tower will give me three. Three plus Erza Mine, which is five, they will give me seven mana. I will put it in play. And that means I will get a mana burn from the extra mana that is in my mana pool. This was mana burn. As I said, nowadays it's an obsolete rule. It is a rule that is not used anymore. But whenever you play against someone that has been playing the game for several years and you tap and you have extra mana in your mana pool, that you don't use it 
and he says if there was mana burn you will incur damage this is what he or she means you can leave me a comment below have you ever if you ever played when mana burn was a rule in magic the gathering i played when mana burn was a rule in magic the gathering i used to play the throne lands i used to play cloud post in standard and it's truly mana burn could have hurt you badly here there is a subscription button you subscribe you can subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos about magic the gathering and the collectible world